Hello, my name is Lorraine of District 32 and I'm pretty excited to be interviewing today Callum Maxwell of Optimize Online. How are you, Callum? Very well. How's yourself? Very well, thank you. That's a beautiful background you've got there for uh, for videos. I need to steal it. <laughs> By all means, you might need to organise a truck though. Yeah. <laughs> So, Callum, this is a get-to-know-you video. This is the man behind the brand, right? We, we, are, we know that we do business with people, we relate to people, we resonate with people's stories, and I thought it would just be really great for people to get to know you, right? You've got a good story, you've got a good heart, and I want to want to share some of that. So, Callum, let's start then. Tell us how you got into business. Why did you even bother getting into business yourself? Why? Uh for the most part, I just wanted to do what I love. Uh, I was constantly working on you know, websites and stuff in my spare time. It's what I went into out of school. And it, I went into sales, marketing and business development. And just in my spare time, I was just always working on websites. So uh, full circle back to it, I guess. that was That's the number one driver. Um, there's definitely, you know, having worked for a multitude of different businesses, uh, small through to you know, international corporates, uh, there was always limitations. And, you know, I, I just didn't quite find my fit. And that ultimately led me to want to step out on my own as well. Uh, so that those, I think those two are definitely the most biggest motivators for me to start my own business. Are they the motivators that keep you in business? No. Well, <laughs> when I first kicked off, definitely. Um, now it's more the team, uh, you know, what we're doing, how closely we work with our clients, uh, the reward, you know, in their affirmation and appreciation of what we do for them and how we help them do what they love is what, uh, fuels me um, you know even when I'm at my wits end and uh, stressed out and there's a lot on my plate and I just I just get through it because you know that that reward of uh, what people uh, give back to you in those moments it, it's just what drives it so yeah we need something to keep us going huh you definitely, definitely. <laughs> build the tank up yeah so what's your background though, Callum? What's your story? You know, what did what what did you do before you started building websites? Uh, I was actually having a conversation with my father the other day uh, because he's just met someone uh, new and um, yeah, <laughs> pretty crazy. Uh, and um, it was very nice to meet her. And, and during that conversation, I my father was a postal manager and he started out as a, uh, a telegram boy riding up one of the biggest hills in Perth, which is nuts. Um, went to Derby as a postie and then through to a postal manager. And during his time, like he was always really good at making them profitable. And while he was working for Australia Post, there was a moment where they start, they shifted, they completely shifted the model. And it was a sales model that they had. You know, as you walk into Australia Post today, it used to just be letters, mail, stamp, you know, that was it. Uh, whereas now you walk in, there's stationery, there's uh, pads, there's collectibles, there's just everything you think of, right? And um, he was so... Uh, and th enthusiastic about this change it really added a lot of value to it like he just loved his job and he was always strategically working on how to sell more and um and I, I would listen to him talking about that and I think I got my my you know interest in sales and marketing from from those just hearing about what dad did you know growing up so um and even at an early age, I think it was about eight or nine, I decided to start door knocking and washing cars, which is just unheard of, right? So um, I think I've always had that entrepreneurial drive, which has just sort of, yeah, seen me through, so. 
started young. World yeah. domination by 40. That's it. <laughs> So your entrepreneurial spirit and you dabbled in websites, you've now got a, you know, you've got a great business. Now, Callum, you keep uh, moving offices, you keep expanding the space, expanding the team, expanding the, um, you know, the clientele, um, mm -hmm. the customers. What What is your biggest challenge in business, Callum? Uh, biggest challenge? I think... Um... For me personally, the two areas that I was initially weak at uh, was definitely, you know, I'm so eager. I'm so quick to act, right? I see a problem, I see a solution, and I just want to solve it. So um, I think that slowing down was um, to be more, uh, process dri driven and calculated in decision making um, has seen uh, a lot more growth, um, uh, strategic growth because of that. And it saves for a lot of uh, stress and issues and, and, you know, having to double up on things or, or take two steps back because it, it, at first it seems like it's a slower approach, but it's it actually supercharges what you're doing because you're not wasting time. So you're not putting a patch on something. No, yeah. that's it, without a doubt. Not putting a patch on something. Yeah. And um so if that's here, your biggest challenge, what's your superpower? Oh uh superpower, insatiable drive to learn without a doubt. Um I just love learning you can see all the books up behind me um i they're all my favorites that i've i've, I've bought to uh, most of them i've read some of them still they're on the wish list um learning from those around me as well uh it's and and even and i think that, that that's where i get a lot of drive to give back as well because i've had so many amazing people share their ideas and thoughts and growth and development and, and even where they've slipped up and and how they overcame it and what they would do differently just taking on that advice um has really helped me uh in my growth and my development mm -hmm. um it, i i actually I ref, my favorite teacher of all time goes back to i was 11 year six his name is mr clayton I'd probably love to reconnect with him someday. <laughs> I don't know where he is. Uh, Baylor Primary School, uh, South Headland, back in the day. And he was such a great teacher because uh, of two reasons. He prepared us for the real world. Uh, we would have we ha our desks. We had to rent our desks and we had different jobs assigned to us and we'd earn an income um, so that we could pay rent for our desk and and pay wow. for our, you know, different uh, tool, your, your pens and stuff like that. Um, and we even put together a business plan and mine was on um, a la carte Maxwell, which was a, a restaurant in the um, local uh, shopping center that I, and I planned like design the, the, the restaurant, the layout, the menu, the, it was a mini business plan for an 11 year old, you know? Um, but there was something that he said, doesn't matter who you're speaking to it could even be someone on the side of the road um, listen to what they have to say because although some of them might not be relevant for you my, um, and I believe his words were something like uh, although it might be dribble there's something that they might say that changes your life for the rest of your life so I've I guess I've always uh, been open and and listened and learnt. And you know, I think back to even one of my roles earlier on in life was um, the senior business advisor for uh, a Telstra business um, shop, Telstra, Telstra Business Centre. And Chris Daly uh, was one of our clients in Kalgoorlie and him and two other directors built this business just three of them 
into this massive, um, you know, they were, I think they had 30 staff and, you know, were turning over millions of dollars and, and just to listen to him about, you know, the different things in business that you need to do and achieve, um, you know, all of the little intricacies. I'd, I'd just take him, I'd go around and share a drink with him. And um, and those were some of the most invaluable conversations I, I had, you know, um, just, just listening to those that have been there, done that. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's amazing. <laughs> it's helped. It is. It's the, um, it's the mentors that you don't expect, you know, who, who prepare you for life. Definitely. Without a doubt. Now, Karen, this this video is going to go into the Business Profit magazine and hmm. people are going to be watching. What um, is this something that I haven't asked you that you would really just like to share with the audience around hmm. the get to know you? The get to know me. Yeah, and that might be around education. It might be the learning or it might be whatever you want to share. Or we might have covered everything. Well, uh, I, this beard, right? It's been around yeah. for probably uh, all since about 2014. Um, I I don't think I'll ever shave it. There you go. Um, so I've been asked to shave it for charity, and I, it's a strict hard no. <laughs> like, no, that's it. It's yours. You're keeping it. Yeah, it's it's me. Right? So I figure if I can't grow it on top, I might as well grow it somewhere. So. Oh. <laughs> um, no, look, uh, I guess the something to share is you know, uh, I say that I'm purpose driven on a mission to make the world a better place. And when you think about it, what we put out there, it doesn't just it definitely comes back tenfold, right? So, uh, but I think that when you help someone and then they help someone else, that's where the world becomes a better place. We often uh, think, you know, what can I do to change the world when it's, if, if you help someone and they go on to help three people and then they go on to help 20 people and then they go on... It just amplifies, and I think that if we remember that, um, that we can all make a difference. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And that you are, Callum. <laughs> you are. So, look, Cam, thank you very much for sharing your time um, with us today. Uh, it's great to watch you grow. It's great to see how you give back to the network, and, yeah, the learning is contagious. <laughs> That's good Absolutely. So look, Cam, thank you very much. And I look forward to continue working with you. Um, it's been great. And we'll speak to you thank soon. You. Cheers. Bye.